Hi, thanks for joining me and clicking on my video. Today I want to talk about 3D printers. So first off, I want to introduce you to two of my printers. The first one is the PrinterBot Play. It's a great model. It's small, it's compact, it's quiet, and it prints great. I'll put a link in the description to Amazon with this on there, and also a link in the description to PrinterBot. After printing so much with my PrinterBot Play, I got so excited with it, I thought I needed to have another one in my classroom. And I decided to go on Kickstarter, and I found this 3D printer, Cetus 3D. It's an amazing 3D printer. While it was on the Kickstarter campaign, it was $199. $199 for a printer that prints just as good as this PrinterBot Play. It also prints easier. And what do I mean by that? The slicing software that I use are two different softwares for these printers. I use Cetus 3D software on this one, and I use Cura software for this printer, the PrinterBot Play. And both of them are great, but the ease, user-friendly type of software that I think most teachers are looking for will be on the Cetus 3D. I literally did a little bit for the bed leveling, but then I clicked print and it did. With the PrinterBot Play, you do a few more adjustments and you'll have to write some G codes. Luckily, PrinterBot Play has a great, great customer service support. They always responded to my emails and they're always positive. Really appreciate that. And I think teachers would appreciate some kind of support that works really well. And PrinterBot definitely has that type of customer support. I haven't had to use Cetus 3D's customer support. Helpful. Both of these printers are small, compact. They don't print huge 3D prints, but they're quiet and they do the job that I want my students to do. So if you are looking into getting a 3D printer, I would highly recommend one of these two printers because they do print well. So those were my 3D printers and I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.